A funny and exciting movie surrounding chocolate sounds like my kind of movie. After watching the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, I would suggest this movie to other people. I most enjoyed the acting, the idea of money can't buy everything, and the setting. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory was released June 30th, 1971 and directed by Mel Stewart. Starting the film, Charlie, the main character, is a newspaper boy who earns money to help support his family. While Charlie is at school, Willy Wonka tells the world there are five chocolate bars that have golden tickets, and any child who finds this golden ticket is invited with the Guardian to come tour the factory that's been kept private for years. Throughout the tour, children and guardians learn just how wonky this factory is. The acting is a strong point for this film. The other children who found a golden ticket make the movie much more entertaining. Veruca, played by Julie Cole, is a spoiled brat, and she played it so well. She's had a bad attitude, and her tone of voice has made it very convincing. It's as if the actor was actually a spoiled child in her real life. The main characters were good actors, but the minor characters really made everything more believable. The movie was funny to watch, but as an adult, I can understand some things that children can't. The idea I got from this movie was that no matter how much money a child has, does not mean they'll get everything they desire. Four out of the five children were spoiled, rotten, and rich, while Charlie came from poverty. While the children may have money, they lacked patience and didn't listen as well as Charlie, leading to Charlie getting the biggest prize. The movie shows that there are some things money cannot buy. The setting takes place in Munchi, Germany in 1971. Throughout the scene, Charlie walks through the streets of Germany and in the backgrounds are cars like, yeah, like 70s, 60s cars that were very interesting. And the factory itself was ahead of, was ahead of time with all the illusions that it had. So... This movie I would recommend based off of the acting skills, the basic point of the movie, and the setting placed in the show. I would give this movie a solid 8 out of 10.